Hi everyone, it's your favorite Sensotech Jedi, Lisa here. In this video, we're going to be talking about a networking tool called Block Keys. And what Block Keys does is it prevents users from being able to utilize a single key or a series of keys on a keyboard to remit a change. So my example for this, as being out of a school district, you have that kiddo in junior high that fig figures out the key combination to flip the screen around so it's upside down. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? Um, so you can actually disable that. So think of it that way. There's so many different key combinations or single keys that you could put into this to utilize that. But that's a great example of just to let you know how you can use this tool. This tool, I think, works best within the functionality of policies. If you have questions about how to set up policies, that will be something that will be in our uh, installation deployment and management playlist. This is specifically this playlist is to go over the tools that would be associated with with network management or remote support. Okay, so let's take a look at the tool, Block Keys. Uh, this is one of those tools is Windows specific um, because it doesn't have the Chrome emblem on there. This is gonna be for Windows devices. So you see, we've given you some keyboard examples. Um, typically in this one, you would enter a single key, which is the example I'm going to show you, which would be left window. You know, if you're looking at your keyboard, you have um, the ability to open up windows. Um, over here, there's LWIN, left window. So I'm gonna use that as an example. So so you'll see, um, I'm going to go ahead and go into large screen so you can see what I'm talking about. On my keyboard, I'm going to hit LW. It opens it up here, but it also opens up remotely on that device. So you can see it's running. So now when I click run on this, I've selected this device. I'm going to do that again. And now it's blocking it remotely for that device. Um, so you see it's that anybody that sat down at that that try to open LWL win to open that up on there, it's not going to open up. Now to release that, you can really put any sort of character string in there, just something that's not an actual character string and run it. And then that will release it so that when you click it, there you go, it starts running. So that's why I said this one is great as a policy because typically if you're going to set this up, you're going to want to continually block that and then also have the ability to turn that off if needed. So make sure that you watch that video about how to set it up as a policy. Also, go to the KB article down here. The KB article has a great uh, information based in that in a chart that shows you a lot of the uh, key combinations that you might want to put in there. And um, if I close it down and open it back up, you'll see in here the key combinations you can put in. You'll need to put the plus sign between those combinations to do instead of an individual key that you're blocking, you want to do key combos. So you'll put a plus sign and if you want to put multiple key combos in there separate them with a semicolon and go ahead and put that in there you see you can either save to a shortcut and then add to a policy if needed okay guys that is how you utilize block keys i definitely suggest on this is one of those tools reference the kb article so you can see that nice chart and how to utilize this all right see you in the next one